Hey guys, so I keep getting asked the question, is it worth it to upgrade here from the S7 Edge uh, to the Note 7 on the left? And I wanted to see if I could answer that question in this video, because uh, obviously it is quite a tough choice to make given the price of the Note 7, uh, as well as how excellent the S7 Edge still is. So we're going to have a look at five of the reasons why uh, you might want to consider upgrading here. Uh, and the number one reason I'd say uh, to upgrade from the S7 Edge is the uh, S Pen functionality, which uh, admittedly it's not a massive thing that I use myself, but I know that a lot of people, uh, you know, did miss that when they went to the S7 Edge, uh, which obviously is a big deal for a lot of people who, you know, use the S Pen uh, functionality. Maybe they went to the S7 Edge from the Note 5 or the Note 4 because they wanted the increased uh, processing power, uh, but obviously it didn't have this functionality, which which works fantastic when the screen's actually wet, uh, like it was raining today and I was testing it, and you know it was very uh, usable still. Obviously you can use it when the, uh, the uh, phone's off as well, like on the screen. Uh, there's many different smart actions as well that you can do, like shortcuts, uh, you know, all sorts of good stuff uh, integrated with the S Pen, which you won't find on the uh, S7 Edge, which makes it feel a little bit barren considering how big the display is. Uh, so I'd probably put that as the number one reason why you'd want to upgrade to the Note 7. Uh, but there are also some other reasons as well, such as the software here. Uh, so you're running the latest TouchWiz fresh from Samsung. Uh, I have done some speed tests with it, you know, against iOS. I don't think it's the fastest software, but in terms of features, it feels amazing compared to the old TouchWiz, so to speak, on the S7 range of phones. Like, for example, if we look at the notification shade, you can see there's uh, much quicker access to certain things now, whereas you don't get that little arrow on the old TouchWiz. Uh, you can see as well that you can uh, access uh, like uh, stuff very quickly on the apps drawer. Like, there's an actual button now for searching the apps. Uh, in the settings, everything is much more better categorized, uh, so it's uh, neater, whereas on the old TouchWiz, uh, it's, uh, you could obviously try and, uh, I think, sort it uh, in a different way, but it can be a little bit, you know, of a chore. Uh, so I think that the TouchWiz looks much more mature now, it looks grown up and uh, you know looks a little bit better uh, the icons are a little bit smaller as well so you can get more uh, obviously there and that uh, is quite good uh, other things to consider here is the uh, type c connectivity uh, if you're coming from like a nexus 6p or something like that with uh, that connectivity you really do take it for granted uh, and it's one of the reasons why i couldn't get on with the S7 phone uh, because it felt really annoying having to plug it in, like you know, knowing which way to go. Uh, particularly as I've been like swapping out a lot of my accessories to the Type C standard, so it always made that kind of inconsistency when you've got all your devices. Uh, but that's gone now with the Note 7, you're, you're fully up to date with the latest you know, uh, kind of technology when it comes to charging, which is good. Uh, next thing we can talk about as well is the size, obviously getting a little bit better experience, I think, when it comes to viewing content uh, with the bigger screen. It's not a massive difference. The, the S7 Edge is quite a big phone in itself, uh, but I think if you're on like those long journeys, like, you know, train journeys or whatever, you are gonna appreciate that slightly bigger kind of uh, screen real estate. Uh, maybe we can just have a look at something here which demonstrates that. Uh, so if we want to look at a picture here, so we can uh, see here, we do have some nice cars. Uh, obviously both of them have the uh, curved display as well, so the content does actually uh, like uh, curve down. But what I'm trying to demonstrate here is that you can get more stuff onto the uh, Note 7 compared to the S7 Edge, probably not the best example here, but uh, you know, if you do, you know, want something with a bigger screen for your gaming, 
your video that is a solid reason to upgrade you know if uh, that is what you're looking for i think that uh, the actual uh, like curved display isn't quite as apparent as some of the older versions of the curved display like on the s6 edge plus as well uh, so it feels a little bit better to grip in the hand i think compared to some curved phones uh, obviously not everyone does like the curve though so that uh, is something to consider another thing here is that they've integrated the uh, standard edge functions into the note so you're not missing out on that with the uh, new note 7 obviously we do get that with the s7 edge here uh, but now you can put on you know uh, your tasks you can put on your people uh, apps etc very quickly with the Note 7 so it's coming with all the features that you, you know and love from the S7 Edge really uh, which is quite nice uh, another thing the big thing I'd say in terms of biometric security is the iris scanner which I have been playing with off the screen uh, it just completely d demolishes I think the fingerprint uh, way of uh, logging in absolutely fantastic reliable fast you know even when the screen's off like you can just get into the device so much faster than a standard fingerprint scanner uh, and it's very easy to set up as well you know it's, it doesn't feel like a gimmick i think the one on the lumia did the lumia 950 f felt like a bit unfin unfinished gimmick uh, but this they've certainly polished and i think the integration uh, you know with the uh, authentication apps is going to be very interesting to see uh, I think if uh, if Apple doesn't launch something like that it's going to feel a bit weird uh, really because fingerprint scanner feels old now already because of this technology uh, which is cutting edge so those are I think the main reasons why I would push you in the direction of parting with 800 euro you know it's quite a lot of money I got to admit but uh, you know I think being with the device I do notice the the improvements uh, I think they could have done a little bit better when it comes to making the phone a bit better in terms of the specifications like we're getting the same specifications in terms of the camera the processor the RAM etc uh, I think that uh, you know could have been improved a little bit but the overall package feels more complete and that is good I wouldn't worry about the charging uh, issue you know I have been taking the mic out of the Note 7 a little bit but uh, Samsung is giving you a new Note 7 anyway to fix that issue so uh, if you're looking to upgrade from the S7 Edge I'd say go for it you know it's a fantastic phone uh, it really makes other phones feel completely inadequate really at the moment. I will be doing some comparisons with the HTC 10, OnePlus 3 etc very shortly though just to see how the camera is. Very interested to you know uh, see how uh, that uh, is. I think it's uh, pretty much the same as the one you're getting on the S7 Edge so I'm expecting very good performance. Uh, in general obviously there's some reasons as well to keep the s7 edge which i haven't touched upon you know it's smaller it's cheaper uh you know it's more uh, readily available i think they've sold out of the note 7 in most places or they're recalling it obviously uh but uh, i'd say just go for the note 7 if you can you know it's a lot of money to stump up but uh, it's worth every penny really if you want quality so yeah just a quick little video here hope you find it helpful if you're looking from to upgrade from the uh, note 7 uh, sorry the uh, <laughs> the s7 edge or the note 5 uh, which are fantastic phones in themselves and if you've got any questions do let me know hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one cheers